Silicon Valley is home to the world's best and largest tech companies, from Tesla and Facebook to Alphabet and Apple. These companies all have their headquarters in Silicon Valley, with some even building entire villages and campuses to house their employees. With more than 2,000 tech companies in the region, every startup is looking to have a slice of Silicon Valley as well. But how did the city become the world's leading tech hub? You'll be shocked to discover how Silicon Valley really started. Ready? Let's dive into it. The Invention That Started Silicon Valley In what could be quite shocking to everyone hearing this for the first time, Silicon Valley wasn't always known as Silicon Valley. It was actually the Santa Clara Valley which was popular for strictly agricultural products. Santa Clara Valley was the prune capital of America, with residents growing, canning, and harvesting thousands of fruits monthly. The golden fruit here was apricots, and Leland Stanford had a vision that Palo Alto would be blooming with almost all the flowers of the earth. He was confident that this region would send fruits all over the globe in exchange for wealth. Santa Clara Valley did become famous for a major product, but it was not apricots. The turning point for the valley was the Second World War, which had a great effect on California and the Pacific West. This brought a lot of military establishments into the San Francisco Bay Area and all around the West Coast. It didn't end even after the war and military activity continued with the Cold War. However, in the middle of all this, Stanford University came to life in the 1890s. This university wasn't established like most colleges of the Ivy League to educate lawyers and clergymen. Instead, it had always tilted towards the sciences and engineering. The Dean of Engineering, Fred Terman, saw the potential in Stanford and believed that it was to become like Harvard. He partnered with Wallace Sterling, the president of the university, to beef up the physics department and impart the knowledge that would be useful in the electronics companies springing up in the post-war period. Iconically, the invention that started Silicon Valley was actually not invented in the valley. Its origin can be traced all the way back to New Jersey, which was the home of Bell Laboratories. This was where the transistor was invented in 1947 by William Shockley, originally from Palo Alto. William's plan was to produce and market silicon semiconductor technology based on his breakthrough transistor. So he listened to his friend Fred Terman who advised him to return to Palo Alto. William, who was also a Nobel Prize winner, left Bell Labs and returned to start up his own company. This move got everyone in the little city excited and he was naturally able to hire some of the best engineers around. This signaled the beginning of Shockley Semiconductor Labs in the 1950s. But there was a bigger plot twist. William wasn't the fantastic boss that most people thought he would be. In fact, he was the absolute worst and this made it obvious why none of his team members from Bell Labs joined him at his new company. It took only a few years for the amazing engineers working with him to quit and form a rival company. These were eight men that later became known as the Traitorous Eight. Of course, this name was given to them by William who felt they betrayed him by leaving to start the Fairchild Semiconductor Company after getting venture backing from an industrialist on the East Coast. Increasingly, the man that invested in the company was Sherman Fairchild, who had inherited a huge amount of money from his IBM stock. Indirectly, we could call IBM the grandfather of all computer companies since it helped in funding the first of many Silicon Valley startups. But the cycle gets crazier when you realize that it was the semiconductor industry that snowballed into the personal computer industry that took down IBM from the top. Fairchild Semiconductor became official in September 1957 and the space race began less than a month later when the Sputnik satellite was off to space. Why was the space race significant to the creation of the Silicon Valley? Well, with people diving into the technology needed to go into space, there was an increased demand for small and light electronics. This was exactly the sort of thing that the valley specialized in. All around them, there were aerospace cities building huge planes and other big things while the valley was all about creating the small parts. As there was a high demand for small computational and communication devices, these early chip makers soon became wealthy from top customers like the Defense Department and several government agencies. The Start of the Computer Age Remember the transistors we talked about earlier? Well, you're about to find out how they signal the start of the computer age. The invention of this innovative device by William Shockley, Walter Bertain, and John Bardeen, who worked together at Bell Labs before William founded his company in 1956, snowballed into a new era. The name Silicon Valley came from William developing silicon transistors, but the real heroes of this story are the eight employees that left Shockley Semiconductor Company in 1957 because of the horrible working conditions and overall attitude of their boss. William was so mad about this that he called them the Traitorous Eight, but these geniuses were anything but traitorous. They were the tech giants that helped in forming popular tech companies like AMD, Intel, and Kleiner Perkins. 
formerly known as Kleiner Perkins Clawfield & Byers. This American venture capital firm, with its headquarters in Menlo Park in Silicon Valley, helped bring a lot of tech powerhouses to life including Amazon, Twitter, and EA. As silicon transistors were the gold of that era, several computer companies were springing up to use this in their gadgets. Several couldn't stand the test of time. But from here emerged companies that evolved into massive conglomerates. This was the beginning of the amazing stories of tech giants like Apple, Oracle, PayPal, and even Tesla. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak founded Apple Computers in 1976 and just a year later released the Apple II. This computer was such a huge success that it led to the creation of another amazing products like the Macintosh. From being barely worth $1,000, Apple is one of the most valuable companies in the world, with an estimated worth running into the trillions of dollars. Software Development Laboratories, which was co-founded by Larry Ellison, Bob Miner, and Ed Oates in 1977, started a journey that would change the world of software forever. This led to the birth of Oracle, with Larry Ellison currently worth more than $100 billion. The 1990s was a period when Silicon Valley finally evolved to become the hub of the computer industry with the creation of companies like Yahoo, PayPal, and eBay. And then came the biggest of them all, Google. When Sergey Brin and Larry Page registered Google.com in 1997, it was nothing but a little company growing in popularity. However, an angel investor brought $100,000 in funding a year later, and today, we have a brand that pretty much controls the tech world. Almost everything you have to do online starts from Google. Of course, both founders are massively rich with a net worth of more than $100 billion, respectively. Google, which is a subsidiary of the Alphabet company, has a market cap of almost $2 trillion. These are all massive figures, which show how valuable tech companies in Silicon Valley are today. Over the years, Silicon Valley has continued to expand and welcome new companies like Uber, Tesla, Facebook, and Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg had $500,000 in funding per Peter Thiel to put into Facebook, and this company has come a long way since 2004. This social media platform is the most popular in the world and the founder is swimming in billions of dollars. This is also similar to the story of Tesla which was founded in 2003 by tech entrepreneurs Martin Eberhan and Mark Tapperin. Elon Musk would put some funds into the company, become the chairman, and pretty much set himself up to be the big leagues for life. Many other regions have tried to replicate Silicon Valley without any success. What is really so special about this city? The truth is, Silicon Valley is a product of several decades of tech generations building progressively from one generation to the next. It is a product of time, and this magic will only be unique to Silicon Valley. There are several places around the world that have become a hub of tech industries as well, but Silicon Valley, which is now worth about $11 trillion, will always stand out. And that's a wrap. Which tech startup do you think will join the rank of global tech giants in the Silicon Valley? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? Well, we're always posting amazing content like this, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.